What's going on guys, Sean Nell Lawani, seannell.com with a quick Q&A video here. And uh, the question today is how long should you cut before bulking? Uh, this is a pretty common question I get. Uh, you know, what is the proper length of a cutting phase? And so I'm gonna answer that question here, assuming that your goal is the traditional uh, aesthetic physique, meaning that you wanna be both muscular and decently lean as well. So the answer here is pretty straightforward. And that is that your cutting phase should last however long it needs to last in order for you to get down to around 12% body fat, give or take. Uh, if you wanna be a bit leaner, maybe uh, you know 11% or 10%, that's fine. Uh, and if you wanna bulk from a slightly higher percentage, uh, you know maybe 13 or 14%, that's usually okay as long as we're talking about a true uh, 13 to 14% and not a YouTube 13 to 14%, which apparently equates to being morbidly obese, but around 12% where your abs are decently visible in good lighting, that would be a, a, about the right point to start uh, a lean bulk from. And for women, that usually would mean somewhere around the, uh, about the 18 to 20% mark. Uh, one of the big mistakes that a lot of beginners make is trying to commit to a focused bulking phase from too high a body fat percentage. Uh, keep in mind that anytime you put the primary focus on gaining muscle uh, by eating in a calorie surplus, you will gain some body fat along the way and you're never gonna lose body fat during that phase. It's a one-way street. So whatever fat you do gain is gonna be stuck with you throughout your entire bulking phase and you aren't gonna be able to lose that fat until you consciously decide to switch gears and focus on fat loss. So what often happens is that a guy will start bulking from, um, you know, say 17% body fat, and then very quickly they start feeling unhappy with how their body looks, and then they lose motivation and they fall off track. Uh, even if you think that you don't care about gaining fat and that you just wanna be big, you'll probably pretty quickly change your mind once you actually start seeing that body fat uh, beginning to pile on. It's never fun, and I don't think that anybody truly enjoys it. So by committing to your cutting phase all the way through until you get down to uh, a good 12% body fat or so, you're gonna be setting yourself up for a much healthier and uh, better structured bulking phase because as long as you go about it properly and you only stick to uh, a small and controlled calorie surplus, you'll be able to maintain a decent level of leanness for a much longer period of time. And if you like the way you look, then you're gonna be much more motivated and your chances of uh, falling off track and then yo-yoing back and forth between bulking and cutting uh, is gonna be much lower. And that's a very common thing. Uh, and also keep in mind that if you're a beginner and you structure your plan properly, there's actually a decent chance that you'll be able to gain a bit of muscle while you're cutting down at the same time. Uh, it won't be to the same degree that you'd get by eating in a straight surplus, uh, but it is possible to put on muscle during a cutting phase, whereas during a bulking phase, you're never gonna lose body fat. Now, uh, some guys will say that they don't wanna cut down first because they're afraid that it's gonna make them look too skinny, but the reality is that if you have low levels of muscular development in combination with high body fat, and your ultimate goal is a lean and muscular body, then your initial phase of training, uh, whether you decide to bulk or cut, is probably gonna result in a physique that temporarily you're not satisfied with. But uh, if you truly wanna build a great body, then you have to accept that it requires time and patience uh, and hard work, and there's no magic bullet that's gonna take you straight from where you are now, straight to your ideal physique. So uh, you have to think long-term here and understand that even if cutting down to 12% body fat does temporarily give you a thinner appearance, it's ultimately just a stepping stone on the path to your final goal. And that it's gonna be an improvement from where you are now regardless. Uh, I mean, being skinny lean is still gonna be better than being skinny fat. And again, keep in mind that you might actually gain some muscle during the process anyway. So the bottom line here, how long should you cut before bulking? Assuming that your goal is to commit to a focused bulking phase after your cut is uh, over and to gain some additional size and strength, your cutting phase should last however long it needs to last in order to get down to about 12% body fat where your abs are visible. And uh, the specific length of time that that's gonna take really just depends on uh, how high your body fat levels are to begin with 
and how closely you stick to your program. Uh, and then once you get down to that 12% level, you can then shift the focus from cutting to bulking. And uh, I'll link a video that I did on that a few weeks ago uh, that outlines how to properly make that transition. Uh, I'll link it here on the screen and also in the description box below. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you do wanna grab a complete step-by-step -step plan that shows how to lay out uh, a complete cutting or bulking phase from A to Z, uh, the workouts, the meal plans, supplement guides, and one-on-one -on -one coaching, so that you can uh, get results as efficiently as possible, then you can check out my Body Transformation Blueprint by clicking here or by visiting bodytransformationtruth.com. Uh, the link for that is in the description. Make sure to follow me on social media here if you aren't already. The links for that are also in the description. The official website is seannow.com. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button, share, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.